Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator and welcome to the Battle of Helm's Deep which is probably one of my favorite battles from the Lord of the Rings universe in which the armies of Isengard invade this mountain fortress of Helm's Deep and as you can see I've got 15,000 Uruks for balancing reasons. I know there was only 10,000 of them, but I put 15,000 on the battlefield and the defenders. We have 700 of the Helm's Deep soldiers behind them. We've got 300 of the Rohirrim archers. Behind them, we've got the Sullivan Elves, 200 of them. We've got our heroes to the right, represented as the Golden Knights. We've got Aragorn, Gimli. We've got Gamling, we've got Theoden, and somebody else. Let's say Haldir. Why not? He's gonna have a sword in this battle. We also have Legolas standing to the side on the other side of this battlefield, as you can see. And on the inside, we have a thousand of the Rohirrim warriors. So, the way this battle is going to play out, basically the armies of evil are going to invade. And these guys are just gonna try and hold for as long as they can. For the reinforcements that are going to show up at some point during the battle. I've got 2,000 of the Rohirrim riders hidden away, led by Gandalf, that are gonna try and save this battle, try and change the tide of battle before it's too late. But as always, guys, place your bets down below as to who's gonna be victorious this day. I personally think the forces of good might actually prevail. I have a lot of faith in the Sullivan Archers, represented by these elven, whatever they're called actually, they're a hero unit, so I expect them to do a lot of damage. But how about we get started and let's see how this battle is going to play out. So the forces of Isengard are slowly starting to charge, as you can see, the sun is setting down, which is perfect, it's just absolutely perfect, because hopefully by the time the forces of good, if the forces of good win this battle, it's gonna be done. And it's gonna be exactly like the books in the films. I'm pretty sure the books were the same. But as you can see, we're about to get some first contact. And holy shit, these elven archers are tearing through the Urkai soldiers sent by Saruman with one task. With the sole purpose to make sure nobody is gonna be here standing at this castle to tell the tale of what happened. And no man is gonna see another dawn. Holy crap, look at that. The top of this hill. Holy shit, look at that! All of the arrow fire is falling on top of this hill, just tearing through these Urkai soldiers. This is perfect. And these Urkai soldiers are actually really powerful. They have thick plate, which is really well represented by these guys. And oh shit, to an extent they're managing to get to the front ranks. Only problem is, obviously these archers are never going to run out of ammo. So these Urukai, they really have to make a push for it and break through this defense force to get to the archers and silence them before they get wiped out. But this is good. This is good for the forces of good because they're basically holding them back for the reinforcements to show up and hopefully win this battle. Where are the reinforcements? Speaking of it, can I see them anywhere? Oh, I can actually see them already. That's kind of like the problem with this. I kind of hope that these forces were gonna show up a little bit later, but they're finally charging into battle. So there should be 2,000 horsemen charging in. This definitely does not look like 2,000. Actually, I take that back. There's a, a lot of these guys still la running forward. Look at this. Oh, okay, yes, this is good. This is good, they're just gonna crash into the back of the Uruk soldiers. They're actually about to have first contact. I better get to Helm's Deep so we can witness this in all of its glory. Let's see, the Rohirrim charge led by Gandalf isn't gonna be enough to break the attacking forces and hopefully silence them once and for all, kill all the soldiers belonging to Saruman. Holy shit, these horsemen are actually dying kind of fast, which doesn't sound very good but as you can see the elves are managing to hold this choke point which is just fantastic the attacking forces did manage to chip at some of these guys a little bit but look at that they're just getting wiped every time to try and get close how's legolas doing is legolas shooting yes of course he is represented by a woman he kind of did have a sex change nothing wrong with that i mean it's looking more and more 
like the armies of good are going to prevail simply because of this archer file i played this battle three times now for balancing issues and every time i didn't have those archers these forces just got obliterated just go wiped out completely this defending force the 1700 warriors of helms deep they just kept dying like flies to the work soldiers but it's so far so good let's have a look how is the back looking? How are the horsemen? The horsemen are actually getting kind of butchered. I'm not gonna lie. Is that the bulk of them? Oh my god, they're still coming. There's still more of them on the horizon. They just keep charging forward. This is brilliant. So now the Uruk forces have been divided in half. One half is defending against the horsemen. And the other half, as you can see, are just charging forward, trying to get past the top of this hill. Which just, just doesn't seem like they're going to be able to do it. If it wasn't for these Sullivan Elves, the forces of good would have lost quite easily, let me tell you. You know what? We're going to send some of these Rohirrim warriors to charge forward to make this battle a little bit more interesting. Now, the Rohirrims are getting a little bit cocky, so they're just going to go, Oh shit, dude! How about, you know, you just charge forward just like that. Attack target, everybody! Just push forward, push through, there you go. Now we have a cool charge coming in. And hopefully these guys are gonna rally out and meet the horsemen in battle. Which is kind of how the movies played out. I'm not sure if the book played out the same because I never actually read the Lord of the Rings books. And I'm sorry for that. I really am. I just got round to reading Game of Thrones. I don't have a lot of time in my hand. And the only time I do read is when I travel. <laughs> but luckily recently I've been traveling quite a bit so I managed to catch up on Game of Thrones. There you go, now we have another charge for from the forces of good. Oh shit! Just in time as well because as you can see a lot of these forces have been wiped out over here which wouldn't have been very good for us. Uh oh! Wait. Have the horsemen been destroyed? No! Gandalf and all of the Rohirrim riders have fallen in battle! These reinforcements were for nothing. Now all of the Urk soldiers are focusing on wiping out the remainder of the forces of good. This is actually kind of a cool plot twist. I like it. The dawn is actually beginning to break. This is brilliant. Look at this. A majority of the Urks have been wiped out as well. Oh, this is kind of playing out really nicely to how I wanted it to. But it is kind of a shame the majority of the reinforcements, I'm, well, I should say all of the reinforcements units have fallen in battle and not a lot of orcs with them as well, which is surprising. I expected the horsemen to just charge straight through them, wiping these guys out, but as you can see, the remainder of the orcs are getting butchered like wild dogs. We got these brave soldiers defending, and you know what? I think I'm gonna have a charge. I'm gonna have a charge from the knights as like a final fuck you essentially to the Urukai. So I'm gonna rally all these guys on me and everybody. We're just charging through, all right? We're gonna get the elven archers as well to charge in with the remainder of my force, just like that. Fantastic. Guys, everybody on me and we're charging forward. Everybody, charge the Uruk soldiers! They're managing to make their way kind of around them, but a majority of them are actually stuck. Look at this body pile! This was flat! This was completely flat! This is brilliant. This is almost like an another defense. This reminds me so much of Battle of the Bastards. The pile of bodies everywhere. The Rohirrim are pouring out, out of Helm's Deep, to finish off what remains of Saruman's forces, which is still kind of a decent amount, but not enough to win this battle today. All right, I'm gonna send in more of the elves and I'm gonna do a little bit of a flanking maneuver just around the side here to pick off the Uruk soldiers. Do you guys have a nice sight of them? Hell yeah, look at this. All of you just attack, just attack these guys, all right? <laughs> Perfect. This worked out fantastically. Look at that. Now they have an amazing position just to wipe out the remainder of the orcs. That's it. As you can see, there's not very many orcs remaining. Some of them are trying to flee, but they're not going to be successful because they're just getting picked off one by one. 
under Helm's Deep stands yet another day thanks to the forces of good. But anyway guys, that is gonna do it for yet another episode of Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did, then make sure you leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel, leave your suggestions in the comments as to what you'd like me to do in the next episode. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're gonna have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Take care and bye. Bye bye bye. -bye.